each group or each uh, whatever uh, group consisting of one or two or none. Uh, <laughs> the, the different types of problems you are thinking to handle. And we will be selecting one or two for each group so that this will be a, I mean, a you can we can understand in the later day. And also while presenting the problem, you have to tell <coughs> also when do you expect to finish your thing. So that accordingly you can have your presentation. Right? That is the idea. But don't tell this I am ready with the problem and solution I am ready to present today. But it's not allowed. Okay. So first you so, yep. So, since he has to stand in front of Lola, he has taken this talk of. So the problem that we are thinking to uh, work upon is the odd even merging problem. Uh, this was discussed in the class a little bit. The problem is uh, that given a set of numbers we have to sort them and we are using odd even merging in this. Uh, the device that has been used here is comparators and what they do is uh, they take two numbers as input and they will give you uh, the result of they will give you the result of the comparison between these two numbers. So what we plan to do in this is to try and reduce firstly the number of comparators used throughout and then secondly whatever comparators we are saving at each stage we would like to use them to do some more forward calculations and thirdly uh, the algorithm as it stands already is not very flexible so we, we might not be able to use all the save, save comparators so if possible we will try and make a few modifications on the algorithm so that uh, we can use whatever comparators we are saving at each stage. The rough idea would be to, uh, we will see what is the maximum number of comparators that we are using at, at any given stage and then in the later stages we will see how, how many comparators are being saved and then those saved, uh, those saved comparators we will try and do some, some future comparisons with them if possible. Like uh, for example, uh, So we have something like this where we are comparing a b and c d and say we have some extra comparators saved here already so we can see that at, at the next stage at whatever next stage comes uh, we will be comparing the output of this with the output of this so if in case you have extra comparators one possible idea would be to right now we could compare uh, say we could compare b and c if, if we have extra comparators because they are not doing any work so we can use them to do something so it might be possible that at a later stage we have to compare B and C at some time. So because the result is already known here, we could reduce that stage. So this will be roughly our idea and uh, no, here I have to yes, that these comparators, now you are thinking about the network model, right? Yes sir. The model is given to you. Yes sir. Hmm? Yes sir. Now uh, how to send the data mm -hmm. from uh, uh, send the data B to this comparator. How are you thinking that one? Due to one of this. Yes, you are saying it is already going into one comparator. So and how, how to... So maybe at the beginning we could make make, make copies of, of, of these data that... Uh, say if this is the initial stage, we, we could make copies of this uh, B beforehand. So you assume, right. you assume that a priori a priori B has been occupied uh, in different places? Yes, uh, we would want to use B more than once. So we would uh, have to make copies of that. So initially. you keep, keep it in mind this problem. Right. You understood that? We will have to make more uh, than one copy. How to get B 
in one of two, two different places. places. Two different places. Yes, that okay. you have to track. So yes, your aim is first one is that optimal use of to network. Come. Yes, network model. model. Yes, sir. Of operators of okay. the network model. Yes, sir. And second thing is that you want to try to make the processor busy or yes, as, as, yes, as far as possible. Yes, sir. Whatever and another say. one is that you mm, want to modify the algorithm. If, yes, yes, exactly. if the given algorithm, as it is, if it is not very flexible, so we'll change it so that we can make use of the compiler. That is what we want. Can I uh, make it little? Uh, yes. I can uh, yes, suggest yes, something yes. Uh, that one. That have you gone through the minimum uh, comparison based network of two we we went through that a little bit, sir. We're seeing a chapter five points. Not to all. Sir, it was very. It had, it so had, uh, yeah, there is a one thing you can think that you have five points, mm -hmm. and you can have optimum network pressure. Even five elements. All right. That optimum network is given. Okay. You see the diagram. So there. five it exists. Five it is there. Seven is also there. Something most probably is there. But oh, no. five it is there. Okay. Suppose you have the five. Mm -hmm. So after five you get we sorted. Right. Five sorted. Five sorted. Right. You can make yeah. use of that. Yes. So what should be your network design in that case? It should be something divisible. So, so see, you are trying to you can, then you get the output five 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 five. And then we use that. Then you can use. This is one other one uh, one thing. Another thing is that there is a term is five sorter, okay. seven sorter. Okay. Uh, you can think about those things. Five sorter means that five elements. So I have a five sorter, three sorter because this is nothing but you are assuming that even three elements I can have sorted a cheap level okay. sorter. Which takes constant amount of time, right? So please go through those materials before you think about uh, uh, touching this or even merge uh, networking and other things. Okay. Uh, so that you know, little modification with five, five sorter, seven sorter that can be taken into account. Also, um, combination of five sorter or seven sorter, whatever it is. With odd even merge, that mm -hmm. also can be solved. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And any other problems you are thinking? No, sir. Work, work on something. Yes. That you will be working on that. Yes. Sir. So, anybody else want to give any input to them? Now, what is the target age? Somewhere around uh, 10 to 40. 40 network. The problem is the sorting network, right? Sorting network. And expected date of the next 10. Is what? 10 is what? Tuesday. Um, April. So, yeah, 11th is okay? 11th and 13th. 13th is okay. Which one you want? 11th. And write up. Uh, you can write up tomorrow. So, can it be after? Okay. How many problems should we copy? Four or five. Four or five. Why four or five? Why not five or four? Or five or five? Or four? <laughs> One of them is. Write down all the five problems. Four. Four. four.
we are just looking at some of these dynamic programming problems of C. Looking at some of the dynamic programming problems of sequential algorithms that we have studied, <coughs> like uh, Floyd Marshall's algorithm for all pair shortest path and matrix parenthesization problem. For Floyd Marshall's algorithm, with the little bit input for parallel algorithms, what we have got is we have a we implement this on a mesh 2D mesh network with n square processors. So each processor will compute the DIJK term of the Floyd Walsh's algorithm in order and time. So the ultimate, the entire algorithm will be solved in order and time. And the cost will be order and cube. So it is the cost optimal. And for the matrix parenthesization problem, we have this given a series of matrix, and we want to find such a order of parenthesization that will minimize the number of multiplications. For that, uh, we have this uh, ring of key processors, and for that, the our time requirement will be order of n cube upon p plus, plus order n square plus order n square. So, if p is order n, first one is done, sir. First one. You he, want to discuss first one? He just spoke. Uh, all pay shortest. No, no, I have several questions on that. Okay. Sir. See, uh, all pay shortest path, there is several levels of parallel. Uh, the Floyd versus algorithm version directly, we are, we are just looking at that. No, no, I am talking about. Have you seen any parallel algorithms all for all the shortest part? Just the logical description of it. Have you seen any parallel algorithms? Yeah. Answer is yes or no. Yeah. Which are those algorithms? It's only the flood water algorithm. First? Yeah. There doesn't exist more than that. Only one algorithm exists on parallel. No, obviously there exists more, but I have, we have seen only one. Ha. Huh. Now, is there any algorithm for Kudi Mesh? Yeah, this is the, the one we are talking about is implemented on 2D mesh. Now, uh, do you feel any parallel thing would be better? You will be able to break that one? Uh, one thing is that we can just uh, try to implement this, or we can try to have some different, uh, we can implement the same problem on a different architecture. The second one is the matrix parenthesization problem. See, matrix parenthesis is a lot of work has been done again. Have you seen any algorithms? Yeah, one of them. Why one right front of the studio? Whenever I'm asking you any one of them you have read. Um, have you read the Sajanda's paper? We are, we are looking at one of the same papers. Remember the that paper actually we are talking of a number of dynamic programming problems like longest common subsequence and Lower and Nasdaq and Floyd one and this one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The fourth one, sir, is the one that we had discussed with you earlier, biconnected components, wherein we'll take the various components of the tree, get the articulation vertices with respect to these components. For each articulation vertex, find an edge to be added and then add the edges. So the input tree is not biconnected while the output is a biconnected tree. Graph, sorry, biconnected yeah. graph. So now uh, these four problems you are planning to understand, right? And uh, what is this support? These are available things? The P is order in? Yes, sir. These are available. These are available. On you manage the ring of the processors. The ring of the processors. But there is several other lines on the technical level for the branching things. Yes. There is several. And uh, they brought close. What happens to this biconnected thing? Um, the view, it, is, it forms a tree, right? Originally, <coughs> yes, it was a tree. And how could also become a tree type of thing? It will be a graph, yes. A graph. Not a tree, but a graph because it will be biconnected. Yeah, it will not be a tree. In a biconnected there are two distinct uh, parts, parts from, from any two. To any two. No, but in that case, are you going to find out the article you want also? Yes. Yeah. So if you want to find out the article, is there any parallel algorithm or anything for article or article? Parallel. You didn't find any parallel as yet. Then why don't you try that one only? This biconnected component. Serial, there are uh, two different ones no, no, plus no, this no. one. Yes. But can you find out? Parallel. If not, then. Then another thing, what I want you to find out is the biconnected component. If you observe what happens, there exists. An articulation point, and then after that you are connecting another one. That is the simple method. Yes. Now, now we define. We like to define this age characteristic. Age. Age characteristic. So that age characteristic means that I have a very strong connection, weak connections, moderately good connections. Okay. Right. See, I have connected, but the connection is. I have a connection. But this connection may, may not be able to take the full load. Okay, a strong weak as in capacity, some, some, not some, elaborate. Some weight factor if you put it. Okay. Do you feel then the problem can be redefined into a better way? See. Uh, saying we need a minimum uh, X weight between. See, I have, I have, I have uh, uh, the bandwidth connections and other things. Yes. Right. Now, uh, the, some connections are weak connections. Some connections are very strong connections. Okay. Yes. And 
My point is that if some fail, then I have a connection, but that connection is weak. Yes. So I cannot take total load on this one. On this, something like this. So can we find out those type of? Can we introduce that type of issue? Something like network. <coughs> can we introduce some issues on that type? You have to define little problem little carefully. Right? You start working on bi-connected components yes. and in the meantime you try to redefine the, the problem. problem of bi-connected components. To suit some way back there. Sir. And uh, yeah, since these two problems, I'm sure you will not be able to do anything with give, right. give a better and network code is there, but provided you can write a dynamic network code. So, even a parallel algorithm uh, on network code, now the flow changes in between. Right? Then, can you write a parallel code? So, if you can give the dynamic or some, some connection breaks or right. is lost. So in that case, your this algorithm will become useful. So dynamic algorithm you can write, dynamic parallel algorithm is for the So you can think about that or you can think about by the fourth component. And while you consider the bi-connected component problem, you try to design the problem where the connect connections also have some weight factor. Yes. Right. Because uh, uniform connection nowadays is not that not as much. Uh, yes. Okay. So if it is a case, when can you tell me? So one of these two is this. one is the dynamic network approach. Yes. Sir. You can think this is dynamic one, dynamic parallel. You understood what you mean by dynamic parallel, right? That's one. Or my connected component with some wave vector on it. different networks and, and different models and they try to compare uh, the time time number of processes by the And then if time domains uh, we could also look at uh, some of the job and work So your problem will be on just on implementation. So which uh machines will be using Sir we are uh, trying to implement on the different uh, uh, architectures and compare them uh, the performance. <coughs> well, that means you will be using SMP machine. Mm. Which machine? So where are you planning to? Sir, we are planning to implement on MPI. Uh, MPI yeah. is using where you need n number of machines, right? Yeah. Where are you going to get those? CC. 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 SMP based machine. Yeah. Right. There is the SMP machine. Mm. Right. Another one is that we have the cluster machine also. So you can think of it, but uh, you have to design your model based on the yes. API. And the second one, the problem that we thought of was maybe if you look at the NSPL workers, there are double versions of the NSPL workers. So there are just seen at the uh, one side. Maybe it's a different algorithm for
what model you are planning for industry? See, the problem with MST is that you have to find out the minimum cost to each, right? The network model finding the minimum cost is So either of these two. Either of these two. Yeah. Probably you will uh, we try to implement some other algorithms also in there. In here. So here you can have several things, right? Like, uh, the sum of n. Yeah, some of yeah, that can work. Yeah, that can work. Then you will have a library type thing. Yeah. So I must get at the end of this all the code. Yeah. Along with, uh, I will have the sum. Yeah. yeah. Five yeah. I will write put in sum array a, comma p process, mm. and it will invoke your routine to give me the sum. Mm. Right? Fine. So which one? Proceed which which? No, no. See, you told that well, you will doing both. Uh, Either of these two, so I don't have any problem. Whichever you want, okay. this one if I get the library form, very good. So then uh, this is required. Okay. So that we can build so our own parallel library. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Problem is to solve PSP. Let me say, PSP problem is 
connection it takes a uh, order of log n time but uh, its cost is too much so mft on a mesh it it cost is too much less than this so we are trying to add few connections only not the whole see you, of this. Uh, you can instead of say why mesh why not uh, mesh is having four connections right so that is your mesh you can use think about the hexadecimal and hexa connection also Right, there will be six connections. No problem. Constant number of bars is not a problem. But uh, by adding the constant, we must be able to achieve the better solution. Right. See so here, the time is you observe. The time is ordered at this value of n, even though your cost is less. See, once I procure a machine, once I pay money for the machine, cost is not important. Right, time is important. Yeah, time is important. How much time I have occupied my machine? Right, and cost is important before I procure the machine. See, sometimes one thing is clear, but there's not a single machine. There exists a single machine which is generic in purpose. Right, that all problems. Cannot be solved efficiently on a particular parallel machine, provided you assume that it is a fully connected machine. So that doesn't have much meaning. Yeah. Okay.
ओके बेसिकली वी आर ट्राइंग टू सॉल्व दी सीक्वेंस अलाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम ओवर द डीएनए सीक्वेंस बेसिकली इट्स प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स डोमेन एंड हियर एज वी नो डीएनए कंसिस्ट ऑफ न्यूक्लियोलाइट्स ए टी सी एंड जी एंड बेसिकली द मोटिवेशन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज दैट Uh, we want to infer the functionality of uh, some new genome. Every time we found found some new genome, and we don't know the functionality. So what we try, we try to infer the functionality of that particular new genome from the existing uh, uh, DNA and, and genomes. And so what we try, we try to match the particular sequence. Suppose uh, I have a sequence of uh, this AG, this nucleotides, and uh, I got some new genome. what i will do i will try to uh, find out i will try to match this particular sequence to some existing uh, uh, particular dna sequence or genome sequence and if i got some match there are some different uh, types of match uh, local the different types of alignment local and global gorav will talk about all the thing but what we try we try to find out that particular match and if i got some particular match and so from that particular that existing uh, genome functionality we try to infer the functionality of this new genome so here uh, basically first of all the if i want to compare two sequences so the very basic uh, concept of uh, hamming distance but uh, here is the problem here is some problem in hamming distance just consider the sequence uh, and i have another sequence here if i consider the hamming distance then hamming distance will not work so and you can just see if i just shift this the whole string by one position right towards right then it will got a match matlab this this portion will got match to this particular portion so here the rather than hamming distance we take the concept of it is added uh, added distance pair in added distance pair what happens basically we insert uh, some uh, ne- we we make some insertion some deletion and some replacements uh, some replacements so uh, for every match we rewards uh, some uh, points and uh, for every uh, insertion or deletion commonly we tell that indel so for every insertion deletion we pay some penalty so there are mainly some methods for uh, alignment and there are some algorithms for these things so basically what we are trying to do we trying to uh, uh, basically this uh, genome sequence uh, consist of uh, uh, millions of uh, these uh, nucleotides and uh, if, uh, if we have a quadratic time algorithm so like order of n square then uh, you can just consider if n is very very large and so even quadratic time algorithm will take uh, lots amounts of time so there is a lots of scope for parallelization for this particular problem so basically we have uh, till now we have dynamic programming solutions for these problems uh, wherein the basic recurrence is that cases when uh, ai the string ai matches uh, AI, the ai is matching to ai where we are matching is a and here is b if a match occurs we give some we award some points and if uh, there is some insertion or deletion then we deduct this this is little plus with delta will be negative So we did some we uh, give some penalty. So at any position g i j, this denotes the score, optimal score of matching up till a i to a j uh, to b j. That, that means uh, if I am at this position, that means I have matched this much string to. This. So this gives me the optimal score. So finally, what uh, at a m b m, that is the final position, we get the optimum maximum score of matching two strings a and b. now the problem here is that <coughs> this dynamic programming solution is order n square and uh, 
so what we what uh, and plus it uh, takes uh, n square space and since n is very large so this is very costly now if we try to parallelize it what we can see over here is <coughs> at the first step what we have is the value of this location now in the second step we have we can parallelly calculate this and this in the third step because any uh, for calculating any uh, value we need Three values, so all these three can be calculated parallelly. In the next step, we can calculate these parallelly. This is called wavefront parallelism. So, but the problem here is that the n is so large that we can't just go on increasing the number of processors. The date one time we require order of value processors. It will be, uh, we will be wasting the processors because only at the peak time means when the at the diagonal close to diagonal. And it is actually not possible because n is so large that we cannot have so many processors. So what we do is that instead of that, we sign this first row to the zeroth processor, first processor, second processor, and this is calculated at the first instant. The first step, then at the second step, we these two are calculated. The third step, these three are calculated, and this is calculated like this. And when it reaches the end, the zeroth processor is replaced to this location. So this is the basic problem, and what we are uh, trying to look into it as how which is the uh, architecture which can give best results for these for this sequence alignment problem, and what what optimize what optimization or what improvement can we do in the existing algorithm to make it more efficient. How to, because basically the problem is that uh, it's not easy to visualize what sort of architecture will be useful. Here only one thing we can see, every processor requires three connections. Like it requires the data from three neighbors. Three neighbors. So we can think of such an architecture in which a particular processor has three connections. Exactly. Yeah. And then what can be the maximum means group, what we can have zero. For example, I am having three, three processors. How many uh, in with relation processors to n, what will be the optimal number of processors? No, but you can always assume, suppose you have uh, three processors, yeah. then you can always take uh, a situation where the maximum p, p rows can be. P, so p, p, yeah, p diagonal elements. Right? So that is your yeah. first level of. Uh, and then you have to design. Or the network on this P, that this is the best one. Then you replicate. Right? Rest point is replication. Yeah. And then uh, this is okay. the global alignment problem. We have a look uh, a bit harder problem, which is local alignment. What happens is that uh, it may be that in the two strings. The whole string is not uh, matching to the second string, but it may be that the small portions are matching very well, <coughs> which is called local alignment. That means we have to find uh, two positions i j and i dash j dash, where in the first string uh, corresponding a i to a j matches well to a i dash, uh, sorry b j b i dash to b j dash. This is called the problem of local alignment. This is a bit harder problem because uh, here we can simply go from right to the end, uh, this uh, source to the. So tell me one thing. Oh, in what way is it different from pattern matching? Pattern matching. You have a text. Yeah, it's a sort of. So yes, sort LCS. Of LCS is just a, a special case of this problem, where we have uh, a zero for all these, mm. zero for this, and one for. So you cannot use KMPA or something for body server, both body pattern. Uh, so actually, uh, that is that we are just matching once. See, <coughs> so what is so we are not. Uh, so here the concept of edit distance comes up in KMP. Yeah, most probably you are also assuming that one. Maybe instead of having A T A T A T, somewhere you got A T A C A T A T. Yeah. So some weight factor because of the, the mutation. Yeah, something that is. Can you can you uh, see that part also? In what way it is different? Uh, 
from KMT server. So actually, those those string matching algorithms uh, look for correct exact matches, not not so because not for here effort. we are just finding the optimal score. What what optimal score we get between two so strings? So can you re redesign KMP cell algorithm for not exact match? You are ready to suppose I am ready to sacrifice twenty percent of. Okay, so or the other way, here you are telling the GIJ. Now, instead of that, GIJ exact matching, matching if I say 100, then no, if it is above some number, I will assume that. Some, you know, then only you will be getting the problem will be a little complex. You know, you have to make some more spice into that so that it becomes a good problem. Otherwise, you will be taking that p diagonal number of this and some modifications and then you will be able to that is that's okay because you get solved you will be able to solve your problem but at the same time if you want to put little spice into that then you get a complex problem so you can look into modifications of game please see that part so Maximize his game. Uh, maximize his game. He wants to. Uh, he wants uh, maximize the chances of uh, winning. Uh, also, this is a famous. Game is reduced. What's the game is? See that if I get the maximum money, then you will get the mu money. 
So all of my aim is to earn more. No, no. Because game is a single game. When the, uh, the, uh, the gain of game is a single entity. This, this is not different. It means I want to maximize the game, uh, maximize the gain in game. So if second player wants that uh, my gain is reduced, then he then he will, for example, in any game, uh, in chess uh, or in go game, then in, in chess if uh, if I want if the second uh, the second player wants that my gain is uh, reduced. Means he if he wins only when my gain is uh, yes. my gain is less. So he wants to minimize the gain. He wants to he wants to maximum possibility when um, I tell me tell me one real life example. I have uh, in the game you have given five rupees and he has given five rupees. Now you tell me. Yes, we will have. Yes, sir, no, what is, in reality, what is that? In reality, it is that. Uh, <laughs> that you will be gaming, provided he gets 3 rupees profit, right? Like no, means I want to, means we, if we, we are playing any game, then I want always that uh, uh, that the gain of, means his gain is always reduced. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is the. So, the way then square box. A square box is means the game of means this is total total game where we can't give uh, that this game is for player one or this game is uh, means, uh, player player game is single game where one is one wants to maximize the game and second one wants to minimize the game. Automatic, right? Suppose you want to earn more, one is automatically Yes, yes. So it's not a question he wants. It. Yeah, yes. Sir. Uh, I think he's defining game with respect to a single player. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes, yes. I you agree. tell that. Uh, so, yeah, actually, but you are telling no, it is a proper game. It is a one player. Yeah, one player. Uh, yeah, it is one player game, yeah, but this this is total game. Total so, game means both have playing, but uh, uh, the uh, definition of uh, uh, game of game is single game. Okay, now you can do it. Yeah, here we where we uh, do uh, two things means uh, uh, the in sequential algorithm uh, we find that uh, for example he is coming means we leave uh, we leave some nodes uh, by very uh, alpha beta alpha beta where uh, if it if you thinks that uh, let's say if first pair uh, uh, goes two choices and first player have two choices then he he knows that uh, this choice is any anyhow better that's all the all those no, nodes have less gain and he knows that uh, with all all of uh, further nodes have uh, less gain then he remove then he removes uh, this node well, this part he not chooses this part and he he only chooses uh, the first player chooses only this part and then again uh, the same thing for second player he if he wants that uh, or the game uh, because second player wants minimize that game. if he uh, if he knows that all all these are minimum then he can, so uh, there are many paths we uh, the many paths have uh, not not taken so um, so you are using some probability theory so, uh, so what in uh, in in sequential algorithm we remove this. Uh, in parallel algorithm we can't do uh, we can't uh, do exactly like this. We have to. Uh, so in sequential algorithm we are inspecting each and every uh, beats, and uh, but uh, in parallel algorithm we are trying if we have the p processor then uh, divide these beats in the p groups and. Uh, Check on is, which is the best result and uh, remove all other. So we only have to check on one group and move forward. Yes, yes. 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 Contains T minus X cursor and some other people. So how to fix? Well, you have to see that part. That whether the higher subtree 
uh, you are going to consider or not. Collapsing, how are you going to handle it? There will be a question of collapsing, right? At the end. <coughs> yeah, you will be collapsing and then finally you will go up to that. Right? So that collapsing technique for parallel process, how are you going to do that? So actually we are also calculating that how much how much we can uh, handle this uh, collapsing situation. Uh, because uh, there is some bounds. Are there any algorithm like this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, but there is. Sir, their ring time is. Sir, so H is height and D is the degree. And here it comes uh, with this factorial H into something and to the power. Because this, this bound is very, very high. Sir, so this is this so, two. Uh, volt to the power H. H. Yeah, here it is also. The power is also a square of that thing and multiplied. Uh, what model is it? Sir, uh, not for a particular model. This, uh, this uses no, but here you can actually <coughs> based on the, you know, say for it if you consider uh, the structures, what are fly possibly can be viewed? Yeah, you can think about the what are fly model and see how it works. Actually, we. We have to use, we have to see which model is this. No, of course, of course. So, what date do you want? 11th. All of you 11th, they are not, uh, they go up 13th of the month. Are there 11th of the month? Everybody was 11th, then I cannot keep that much. And right here is on 19th. Just will change the send and receive part of this. If it is in the same uh, node, then we will just use the shared memory. And now, how much? Yeah, talk to the For shared memory, there will be uh, issues in buffer management, but uh, <laughs> our basic simple implementation, assuming uh, small messages can be. Uh, 
what do you want to do basically? Okay, let me understand that. You have MPI CH MPI and on cluster machine. Now you want to pass the message yes. to all the nodes. So what do you have to do? So uh, say we have uh, many multi-core systems. So if, if it, multi core systems. Okay. So if it is within the same uh, system, different code, so we can use the shared memory. So in that case, we will not uh, we just uh, we will uh, change the send and we will check that uh, if it is within the same system, then we will just use the shared memory. Or else, if it is in different one, we will just use this MPI normal normal MPI. And so then we are thinking about the closest pair problem. Means in this we have uh, one paper we have gone through that's uh, just they were taking every point and they were comparing with every other. That's the sequential is the order n square and they were uh, in 2D match they were doing it in order n. But we uh, means we thought of parallelizing so, uh, some other means sequential algorithm. One we have got means uh, where uh, the sequential is of order n log n. Yeah. Yeah. It's divided in into yeah. two parts and like recursive uh, DS. But the recursive battery is for bad algorithm. Bad is that closest pair algorithm for example. Yeah. 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 And then sir, we were talking of clustering and where we can divide the data points into various groups and and then can, uh, recursively we will merge. Why don't you try this one? That will be very useful for me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
we have various models like uh, in the hyper hypercube model we have an implementation which has a block cube of complexity and um, there is some CRE pram model which has a uh, time complexity of uh, which is cost optimized as well with the sequential algorithm so we were thinking of doing some survey or if, if the time permits we can implement that on the CC servers uh, so do I need to no, all, all the all the fun there is go to the survey board Yes, sir. Uh, then why only modern diagram? You take, this is a book on parallel computational geometry. Okay. So, so yeah, most of the basic problems described in computational geometry are related to things, convex cell and modern uh, diagrams, yeah. uh, implementation of all these things. Yeah. On so, the this thing are available. So, we can basically generalize this thing on uh, Actually, so sir, we found a lot of application of these yeah. uh, Voronoi yes. diagrams. Yes, now, can diagram. you, can you? Speak from that point of view, the application point of view. Yes, actually, sir, it has many applications in the. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, geometric, uh, no, geographic something. Yeah, geographic uh, and, uh, sensor network and something. As well as like uh, in the in the Windows application, like if our cursor is somewhere, and from the Voronoi diagrams we can find like which icon is the closest one, so it points to that. As well as like uh, like in a motion movie, we have to find some uh, good still image. If we have to capture that, but like as we like capture the uh, uh, image from a movie, it's not like, like it's blurred. So using the Voronoi diagrams, we can capture like uh, from which uh, uh, which image suits the best, which has the like uh, which is the uh, like uh, uh, which has the most still image to make uh, closest to the like to get a perfect uh, perfect image of the whole sequence using that like. So are you going to mention in your survey all those things? So that, you know, so that it becomes a, a complete document. Otherwise, only one way you see the parallel of the computer geometry book, copy it and give it to me. Okay. Yeah. Also, we can try to implement this. Yeah, uh, implement and also some application of this. Yes. So that it becomes a database. Yeah. So we will try to implement then. I think it would be much better to implement this on the CC servers. Either so we'll decide about the which models we want to implement and let you know about that. Is it fine, sir? That's okay. As long as thickness is there, then it's okay. Okay. Only you know after reading your material, if I find that it is coming directly from population geometry book. Okay. No, no, so it won't be like. Ah, ah, so, 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 so,